if I look at 2012, and if I look at the four main players, United States, Europe, China, and Russia, uh, and I look at what, what's been happening in these countries or blocks of countries in 2012, uh, and I'm oversimplifying, of course, but I look, I look at China, you know, they were basically busy with the transition of power. They were basically busy with dealing with Mr. Bo Xilai and his ramifications and choosing the new leadership. And it took most of the energy of the Chinese leadership uh, in 2012. Tell me what fundamentally or structurally happened in China in 2012 that has an impact in the future of China. Tell me what fundamentally China did in the international scene, which has a, a, a long-lasting impact. If I look at Russia, uh, again, a transition between you know, well-known actors, uh, but still a transition. Uh, and basically, the feeling we have out of Moscow is that things have not settled in yet, and that there is a process uh, ongoing that, in a way, has prevented Russia from being particularly active, uh, or rather active in the defensive way rather than, than proactive way and courageous way in the international scene. And I think we have a few examples where they have taken rather conservative positions in the sense that they were not maybe able or capable or willing to make bold moves uh, because they were still caught in the transition. Well, I don't want to comment too much about this country, uh, but if you consider 2012 primaries plus elections, we can say that the United States has been rather inward looking uh, to, uh, during the whole of 2012. Well, if I look at Europe, I mean, there were a few transitions of power, of course, but basically, if you look at the 27, you have the picture of Europe, what are we doing? Well, I think we've been extremely busy. We're dealing with crisis situation in a number of countries of an unprecedented nature, and we've been dealing with that in an unprecedented way, creating new mechanisms, new funds, new money, new articulation of power. We, have busy, we are busy dealing with structural reforms in Europe, deficit, debt, labor markets, pension systems, role of government, privatization. Go around Europe and see the, the depth of the changes that are being introduced in our economies, in our society, in the middle of, at the same time, as they are dealing with very urgent crisis situations. And with all this, we still have time to talk about the future. 